hello welcome to my youtube channel today's video is about the slip test for to be conducted on 19 1 2026 it's a part of 100 days action plan of ssc 2026 subject mathematics and the topic covered in this question paper is coordinate geometry it is prepared by apmf for nandial district it is not only for nandial district but it is prepared by apmf nandial so useful for all the students throughout the state the question paper is prepared for 20 marks time 1 hour 10th class they answer the questions 6 into 2 is equal to 12 marks that means 6 questions of 2 marks are given each in which quadrant the point minus 3 comma minus 5 lie as both x and y coordinates are negative here so it lies in q3 that is third quadrant find the distance between x comma y and the origin so the distance between a point x comma y and the origin is root x square plus root y square find the coordinates of the midpoints of the line segment joining two points minus 6 comma 4 and 2 comma 8 so to find the midpoint the formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 so here this is x1 and this is x2 we can take so minus 6 plus 2 by 2 and y coordinates are 4 and 8 their average is 4 plus 8 by 2 minus 6 plus 2 by 2 minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 by 2 and 4 plus 8 is 12 12 by 2 so the point is minus 2 comma 6 a point lies on x axis then its y coordinate is 0 find the distance between the points 2 comma 3 and 4 comma minus 1 the distance between these two points is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is the formula we have to use so the difference between the x coordinates is 4 minus 2 2 2 square plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 square so 2 square is 4 and minus 2 square is also 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so the distance between these two points is root 8 find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points 4 comma minus 3 and 8 comma 5 in the ratio 3 is to 1 internally from fourth question onwards as the problems are somewhat lengthy here the space is not suitable to write the complete answer that's why at the end of the question paper all answers are given so do not skip any part of this video see till the end so the next one is find the ratio that the point 2 comma 3 divides the line segment joining the points minus 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 5 actually this problem is not correct so they something is missing in this one but the solution is given at the time of solving the problem i will explain where is the mistake sixth one find the coordinates of the point a where a b is the diameter of a circle whose center is 2 comma 3 and one end of the diameter is 1 comma 4 now 8 marks questions are given there is an internal choice here so that's why in seventh question section 2 it is not 4 in section 2 7a 7b 2 questions are given 7a verify the points 1 comma 7 4 comma 2 minus 1 comma minus 1 minus 4 comma 4 are the vertices of a square if so find its area or two students claim to have found the points of trisection of the line segment joining a 3 comma 4 b minus 2 comma 7 as follows student a got these two points as points of trisection and student b got these two points as the points of trisection now who is correct justify so the answers are also given so do not skip any part of this video see till the end these are the answers up to question number three the answers were explained in the question paper itself now the fourth question is ratio 
in which the line segment joining these two points is divided is given that is 3 is to 1 so m1 is taken as 3 and m2 is proportional to 1 so by using the section formula m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 substituting the values the point obtained is 7 comma 3 next fifth question which i said is not correct here so here point p and point q are given we have to find the ratio in which the line segment joining pq is divided by the point 2 comma 3 but actually this 2 comma 3 does not lie on the line segment joining pq that's why we don't get this answer but here the method is let the required ratio be we have to think that it is as k is to 1 one can take m1 is to m2 also but for easy calculations purpose one can take that it is k is to 1 so now i have taken it as k is to 1 the point which divides pq in the ratio k is to 1 is given that is 2 comma 3 so that's why here section formula is used and 2 comma 3 is equal to this point in terms of k we have obtained we have to calculate the value of k comparing the x coordinate with x coordinate here it is done and all the calculations are over here and finally the answer obtained here for the value of k is 4 but this value of k which we obtained should satisfy the second coordinate also that means if we substitute k is equal to 4 in this one 5k plus 4 by k plus 1 we should get this 3 but it is not so so one can substitute k is equal to 4 here 5 4 is 20 plus 4 24 by 5 we get it but not 3 but actually if the point 2 comma 3 is instead of 2 comma 3 if it is 2 comma uh, how much 5 for 24 by 5 so then this answer will be correct so whatever it may be the method is explained here so one can use the above method to find the ratio sixth question let c be the point 2 comma 3 that is center of the circle the diagram if needed it is of this type this is the center and diameter always passes through the center and diameter's center is midpoint is the center of the circle so a b so this center c its coordinates are given 2 comma 3 and one end of this diameter b its coordinates are also given 1 comma 4 we have to find the coordinates of the point a as the c as c is the midpoint of a b so we can use the midpoint formula by assuming that the coordinates of a or x and y x coordinate x y coordinate y and thereby using the midpoint formula which is x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 here x plus 1 by 2 4 plus y by 2 and these two coordinates are equated to these two coordinates 2 and 3 so equating x coordinate to x coordinate x plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 and by simplification x is equal to 3 and equating these two y coordinate with y coordinate so y plus 4 by 2 is equal to 3 y plus 4 is equal to upon cross multiplication it gives 6 y is equal to 6 minus 4 y is equal to 2 so therefore the point a is 3 comma 2 this one second section in which two essay questions are given for eight marks any one the candidate can attempt so 7a the four points given in the problem have no namings so here let is taken because namings are given for these four points as a b c d in the same order we have to take we should not change the order of the points in the same order in the question paper the points are given so in the same order here the points are taken so now when it becomes a square there are different ways of proving that a given quadrilateral is a square here by taking lens one has to verify so by taking distance between the two two points we have to verify it so that's why the easy method is all the four sides we have to prove that they are equal because in a square all the four sides are equal so here we have to prove that these four sides are equal and at the same time in a square diagonals are also equal so if we prove that all the four sides are equal and the two diagonals are also equal then it becomes a square so here a b the distance between the points a and b is calculated 
it is root 34 units. Similarly, distance between BC is calculated. It is also root 34. Distance between this po uh, side, uh, point C and D or the side CD is calculated, which is also root 34. And finally, the side DA is calculated. It is also root 34. All the four sides are equal. If all the four sides are equal, we cannot say that it is a square. So now here we are taking two diagonals also. The two diagonals AC and BD we have to calculate. AC and BD are the two diagonals. We have calculated AC is root 68. BD is also root 68. As AC is equal to BD, the diagonals are equal. So the given quadrilateral is a square. Now ABCD is a square. Its area is, there are different ways of calculating the area of a square also. One can use the formula side square. Side is root 34, root 34 square is 34 or half d square when diagonals are known half d square when side is known say side is a then area is a square here side is also known 34 root root 34 its square is 34 so the area is 34 square units or taking half d square also we can get half root 68 square which also gives 34 square units so in this way the complete question paper with detailed explanation and fully solved complete answers is prepared and brought before you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it and write a comment. Thank you for watching.